because a lot of the propaganda out there, including in the climate community, is that this is way too big for individuals. It's got to be, you know, science, you know, the government, you know, industry, but individuals, yeah, it's nice if you want to recycle or whatever like that. That's cute, but it's not going to make much difference. So we went back and, and did the work and actually came up with a model that if 500 million people, which is about one out of every 14 people, if 500 million people over the next, right now it's down to about the next 16 months, take simple carbon reducing actions, like not eating that hamburger, like taking the train instead of the car, like simple things that anybody can do. But if 500 million of us have that kind of behavior change in this next window of time, we actually have a really good shot at bridging that gap. So our mission became waking up because it's about empowering humanity to, to end the climate crisis. That's our mission. <clears throat> so we say that the crisis isn't a crisis of carbon politics, temperature, or science or any of that. It's a crisis of consciousness because humanity is asleep to the power that it has. And uh, that most people walk around in this kind of haze that somebody else is handling it. The UN is handling it, Al Gore, uh, the government, whatever, and that they should handle it. So, um, but that the individuals really don't make much difference. And so what we want to do is wake people from that trance, because we figure if we can get 500 million people to discover their own real power in this deal and the power that an individual can make in a global issue, that the climate crisis, obviously we want to we wanna end the climate crisis, but that the point is not just the climate crisis, it's that kind of global awakening of humanity that once we got this thing we can done, we can handle, you know, human trafficking, you know, whatever it is like that. So that's kind of, that's our deal.